Do I believe that some parents take out their angers and frustrations about something else on their children because they feel like they can? Absolutely. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your waiter. Making money, move. I ain't mad at you. It's all about the cleaner. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your waiter. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video. And don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right into this video recently i came across the article about caesar from vh1's black ink crew he's also the owner of several black ink tattoo shops very successful but in the article it involved him his 16 year old daughter his baby mother and his girlfriend and child abuse so let's dig right into that caesar's 16 year old daughter cheyenne took to instagram live and accused her dad of putting in her words hands and feet on her beating her she is a female this is not okay whether he was her father or not she was very 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 upset about the situation hands and feet on me i'm a female i don't give everybody that knows that's a mother on this period you hey and start me out you talking about so now you after she got on live and exposed that, Caesar's girlfriend, Suzette, whoever she is, posted on her Instagram story this right here. And she had this to say, you want $600 wigs, but don't want to wash dishes. You were 60 pounds overweight when we got you. We had you in the gym and on meal plans. Blah, 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 blah. It continues. Then she posted a video of her and I'm assuming her family with Caesar at a bowling alley. And the caption said, family night, heart. And Caesar looked like he was a little troubled, but we'll get into my opinions later. And from there, Cheyenne's mother... Crystal got involved and she had this to say on her Instagram. In this long post, she stated that her and David, which is Caesar's real name, has never physically disciplined their child. She was very troubled hearing her daughter call her up two in the morning crying that she was ripped out of the shower by her father and beaten. Cheyenne also posted on her Instagram the full in-depth story about how he yanked her out of the shower and was beating her as well <sighs> so now not that this is important but i just saw the comment that uh miss tommy vh1's loving hip-hop tommy she left a comment stating children need to respect their parents yeah so tommy we haven't forget the respect you have for your mama. Let's not forget that. Um, and I've done a video about Tommy and her child and her accusations of child abuse. You can go check that out on another Two Cent Tuesday. Right there. But yeah, so now let's get into the Two Cent. Is this child abuse or is this discipline? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Now that you have all the facts. Is a father yanking his child out of the shower and beating her with fists and feet. Is that just being a simple parent disciplining your child? Or is that being abusive? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'm going to let you know what I think. Clearly, that is child abuse on every which kind of level. But let's be clear, as I always state, I don't know what happened. You don't know what happened. We were not there. The only people who knows what happened is Caesar and his daughter. 
the people who were present during the situation. So let's be clear about that. But all I can give is my opinion about the accusations that is going out there. Um, initially, it did not surprise me. I have stated this in videos before. I do watch Black Ink Crew. I do watch the show. And I never cared for how Caesar handles women, how he talks to women. Um, he's always been very disrespectful. He has stepped to women on several occasions as if he were going to fight them. Very, very, very disrespectful. As a father to a daughter, as a man who... I don't know if he respects his mom, but it seems like he does on the show. It is very strange to me. But then again, I think back to an episode where he talked very nasty to his sister. So it doesn't surprise me that he would do something like this. And I can't understand why his daughter would make it up. Anyway. So, based on that of my opinion that I've seen him in action with females, it doesn't surprise me that he has done something like this to his own child. Now, that is absolutely child abuse. Ripping a child out of the shower, even to whoop them with a belt, you know the body is wet. That is when it's most vulnerable to lashes and all of that. So that is automatically child abuse. Now, I come from a family of, you know, getting your ass whooped, <laughs> uh, to say the least. Uh, I never really had to get a beating because... I was the youngest and I I, I, I learned from others' mistakes. <laughs> and, you know, I know when, you know, kids get out of hand, they need to be disciplined. And, you know, you give them a whooping or a pop or whatever here and there. Do I believe some parents take it too far? Absolutely. Do I believe that some parents take out their angers and frustrations about something else on their children because they feel like they can? Absolutely. Uh, I can't speak for this situation. She is a 16-year-old girl. Um, she doesn't seem shy with that mouth. She does seem very, you know, speaking from experience, you know, teenage girls, young girls, they get to a certain age and they get very, very flippity with that mouth. And sometimes they do need to be checked. A lot of times these young kids, they got their hands out like, you know they they want they want you to give 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 but they don't want to do any type of work or you know chores around the house they just want you to supply them with everything and you know sometimes children do need to be checked and put in their place however as the man in her life to pull her out of a shower one you humiliated her Seeing her naked body, she's a 16-year-old girl. That is something that, that should not have happened. Whether you birthed it, you had her, you helped give, you know, whether you're her father or not, that should not have happened. So, one, you done violated her privacy. You humiliated her by exposing her body. And then you proceed to beat her with your fist. Nah, that don't fly. That is unacceptable on any, that is straight up child abuse. Now, whether what his girlfriend said or not was true about her not wanting to do the dishes, she probably got a little crazy with her mouth. But was that the only type of uh, solution that you can find was to beat her out of the shower? I don't think so. I'm sure there could have been many, many other ways around that opposed to what you did. If, in fact, you did it. Because, like I said, I don't know. I'm a firm believer in... You have to give respect to get respect. I know I come from old school. A lot of you might come from old school rules. You know, a lot of people believe when you're children, you know, your parents, you have to do what your parents say no matter what. And you have to take it. If, ch if your parent is beating on you, punching you, you have to take it because that's your parent. As I got older, I learned to realize that that is not okay. Okay. Yes, you have the right to discipline your child, but the same way you demand respect from your child, you also have to give that same respect to your child. Just because they're children does not mean they don't deserve your respect. And I'm a firm believer in that. Like, if you come off to your child nasty and you're yelling at them all the time, and you, you know, you're, you're 
cursing at them and what do you think you're going to get in return as they get older they're going to give you what you give them children do what they see and not what they are told so i don't know what the situation was whether she got disrespectful or not but the fact that she even feels the comfort to be disrespectful to her father if that was the case that has to make you look back at it as a parent why does your child feel like it's okay to disrespect you now i'm not one to hear i'm not one for a child disrespecting a parent i don't play that either but i do feel like you have to give your child respect now there's one thing if you giving your child respect and you you know you try to do everything you can and that child is still on a different path that's a different story but by no means is abusing that child ever okay ripping them out the shower and punching them with your fist and as a man the first man she's supposed to ever love and trust and that's what you do you just set the tone for her for men going forward now let's get to the girlfriend's comments okay first of all you're the girlfriend stay in your lane there's no need for you to go post anything you shouldn't have anything to say about the situation okay if you live with him you discuss the situation with him and if the mother wants to talk to you about it she can but for you to go on social media and and say the things that you said body shaming that child who the hell do you think you are? And the fact that he let that fly speaks a lot about him too. I don't care what your child did. You, There's no way you want to let some female that you temporary dating. I'm not saying it ain't going to last, but ain't no way you should be letting your girlfriend even address the situation when you haven't even addressed it. And body shame your 16 year old daughter what does her being 60 pounds overweight have to do with the situation what is putting her down have to do with what was done to her because i don't think it has anything to do with her. i feel like you wanted to be petty at this point and get a reaction out of her mom maybe and then it got to the whole, oh, your mother just looking for a storyline. Now, see, honestly, when I first saw the article, I said, they must be filming. Because anytime I start seeing drama with people from reality stars and they stuff start coming out, I'm like, they're filming and this stuff is coming out. But whether that's the case or not, oh, girl, you shouldn't be saying anything. Point blank, Period. And he shouldn't even want to be with somebody that's going to go on social media and body shame his daughter. No matter what took place between him and her. Because you two are going to be forever. That's going to be your child forever. This chick could be here for a season. And by you being out and <laughs> whose side are you on? And I hate that everybody has to bring everything to social media, but he's a celebrity and her daughter, his daughter probably felt like, you know, y'all sitting here supporting this man. Well, let me tell y'all what he really does. Or let me tell y'all what he did so that you don't support him. And kids don't ask to be here. You guys make the decision to bring them in this world, okay? Men, your little few minutes of pleasure, this is the result. You end up sometimes having a child and to treat them like, they're they're nothing or they are a burden to you you get what you what you put in you get back what you put into that child so with that being said thank you guys for watching as always don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up guys like comment share with a friend let's get these interactions going guys because i want to keep this going for you i love that you guys support me so much i do this for you guys so i need that feedback on here not on my social media leave the feedback here i love you guys don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias everything will be up top and down below and jenny is out